Last time I made a project powered by Arduino, it turned out... less than perfect. This time, however, should turn out infinitely better. Because <laughs> it's an infinity mirror. I made an infinity mirror. If you didn't catch last video, let me get you caught up. Previously on Ken Makes Mistakes. Yeah, so I built a robot whose job it was to just draw the time. Just draw the time on some glow-in-the-dark material with a UV LED. And it was really awesome, except for the part where it had horrendous penmanship. And again, writing something is like its primary purpose. Okay, you literally had one job to do. But that was last time. I'm smarter now. I'm better. More capable. And this time, I will put out a project that will put your mother to shame. Why your mom? I'm not really all that sure. Just came to me. Going with it. This week I'll be using an Arduino Nano and addressable LED lights to make an infinity mirror. Okay, let's pretend I don't know what that is. You take some LEDs and you sandwich them in between a regular everyday mirror and a two-way mirror. Then what you see is a reflection off the mirror, off of the two-way mirror, off the mirror, off the two-way mirror, off the mirror, off the two-way mirror, off the mirror, off the two-way mirror, off the mirror, the two-way mirror. He's fine. He seems silly. What I don't know, though, is how changing the variables changes what you get. For example, is it better to have a really big distance between, you know, the rear mirror and the front mirror? Or is it better to have them really close together? I, I don't know. Um, if I've got them really far apart, should I have the LEDs centered between them? Should I have them uh, closer to the front, closer to the back? How does that change the actual effect when you look at the thing? I don't know. Could I have researched this? Yeah. Did I research this? No, no. To be safe, I should learn everything about everything, but I don't have time. Okay, okay. So given that I don't have the answers to those very important questions, and I don't understand how changing those variables affects the result of the final product, I'm going to do some blue sky thinking, some brainstorming, some throwing things against the wall to see what sticks. I'm going to run things up the flagpole and see who salutes. I'm going to take a bag of chips and throw them down a well and see if they crunch. That last one may or may not be a real phrase. Doesn't ring a bell. So what I want to do is rather than design everything and print everything from scratch for experimentation purposes only, like I usually do, I'm going to use some store-bought frames for these. So I head down to the local craft store and buy myself some unfinished wood rounds. From here, I only have to design three measly pieces. Just three? Number one is going to be an LED diffuser ring. I'm going to print this out of a natural PLA, and it's going to go on the top of the LED strip so that when you look inside, you don't see a bare, naked LED strip. Hey, put some clothes on! The next thing that I'm going to print is going to be a frame for the face of this. Now, it's going to go around the outside. Round the outside! Round the outside! It is there to cover for the fact that I don't think I can cut a perfect circle, and I bet that when I cut that two-way mirror, it doesn't look good you'll note that I forgot to record myself designing that part. Finally, I have to design a base that is meant to hold all the electronics, a DC power adapter along with a power switch and the Arduino Nano, and it needs to do that while matching the contours of the wood round. So this one did take a bit of work, but I'm gonna pretend that it didn't, cause look, it's so fast. Haha, <laughs> it's fine. It's not so easy as it looks. Now that all the computer stuff is out of the way, let's use my hands, build a thing, make some stuff. But before I do that, have you subscribed to this channel yet? Because what if I told you if you don't subscribe, I don't show you the goods? I mean, that's obviously not the case. I'm going to show you the build and final result no matter what. But, you know, maybe subscribe. Let's watch.
I meant to surprise you with it, but you probably already noticed during the build videos. I actually made two infinity mirrors, and guess what? It's time to look at them both. I can't even tell you which one's my favorite. I've been looking at them. I've been going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I don't even know which one I like more. They look so good. Tell you what, why don't you comment down below which one is your favorite and maybe you can sway me. Clearly you can because I haven't even made up my mind yet. I am done with this video, okay? We've done all the work. This is complete. I thank you so much for sticking around to the end. If you didn't already subscribe to this channel, please go ahead and do that and get that bell icon on so you can see me next time I do this. I'll be excited to see you next time because you are my favorite viewer of all time. Now see you around. Uh. Tasted like cherry. She's going to send a text back saying, I'm sorry I texted you while you were recording. And that will be a text while I'm recording. That's how things work. There it is. Called it. <laughs>